Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. So yeah, well I noticed we can not just get back. Oh, we can get back to the ship. Let me do that real quick. And never mind, uh, we cannot. The pilot basically just said we were super Embrace lucky that we made it power. once, but we won't be able to make it again. Well, in that case, we will need to work with what we got. Iridia got a head trauma, making it minus 15 to all stats and minus 20 to strength and minus one action point. We got a crippled leg for our navigator as well as a crippled arm well, it's going to be fun isn't it at least the ones that are supposed to deal damage are still capable of doing so i tread a path unexplored in terms of setup why is this always changing i feel like i've done this more than once and it's always changing Anyways, hmm, look at that. Oh no, we got a long last. I thought all of them were long last snipers, but they were just normal laser guns. Powers unseen, uncover my Good, we got a blind madman over here. My eyes, have you got them? Please give them back to me. Even just one, please. Good, there are more rebels. Triumphant. As Written always. on the side of the shuttle. Uh, do not touch. Shipment of the thighs. Okay, there are goods in here. Increase the range of the officer archetypes abilities by one cell. I like that. I you think are in she's the, the officer, of right? House or Celio. He's the officer, is that correct? Archetype, officer, perfect. Which means we got a nice little code for you. There you go. All officer abilities are a little bit larger. Fantastic. The eyes lie in the final dawn, the purified vision. What is wrong with you guys? Okay. Lucky Jasper, thank you my lord. You arrived in the nick of time. I don't know what these bubbling creeps would have wanted with me. Who are you? Lucky Jasper, the governor's aide and personal Vox operator, I was dispatched uh, to the start port on special orders. Are you unharmed? Uh, all thanks to you, my lord. These blind lunatics are all over the city right now. These rebels, them to the void, go around maiming anyone. They get their hands on and scorching their eyes. Then they leave the poor sods driven mad in the pain to wander in the streets. Uh, the command doesn't want anyone to talk about it, but I heard whispers that it's not just nonsense, it's heresy, actual heresy, because listening to it scrambles your brain. It made one patrolman freeze in his tracks while a blind mob got hold of him and carried him off of his post. Okay. Where exactly were you doing in here? Okay. Um, we got some experience. Um, he says Augur surveillance station reports are not to be disclosed to third parties but you know that already do you so why do they send you to the start uh, starport because I supposed to be delivered an updated Vox code and should put it and assess the situation the planet is a real mess in the uh, moment Re the rebels have found a way to the Vox net and are now eavesdropping okay that's a problem and who knows what's happening in the system. There's been a riot on Rikia Filia, the prison planoid, and Euro 5 station is silent. I was hoping to be lucky enough to run a pilot and a captain. Could give me an update, but that's hardly possible right now. 
stops talking a little bit too abruptly. <laughs> Brutally maim him, you know, I think I'll punish you. No, no, no. Do you think the governor can handle the re uh, rebellion? You really won't? Well, if you ask me, things are pretty rotten. Those rebels are strange. Would have easily quelled the normal ri uh, riot. We're not some commoners, but Ricardians, naval elite of House Winterscale, those people are vicious. They know no fear. And their attacks, they are so precise, it's like they know what's going to happen ahead of time. The command executes seven officers on suspicion of espionage, but it's not about spying. They say the leader of the rebel is some two-faced Aurora who can see into the future. Okay, Iridia, of course, uh, Idiria, uh, Idira, of course, is super happy about that. She can see in the future. We'll see about uh, she's up against the wrong psyker. My breezy whispers may be vague. They've not failed me once. All right, more classified secrets. It's nothing classified, just personal. There's another reason why I'm here. My bethroned is missing. Rachel Vihari, the esteemed Evern Winterscale's personal pilot. Uh, when the riot came, um, uh, she ended her here personally. Then this rebellion started down and we lost communication. You know what I'm afraid of? That I'll come back and those rebel scumbags will shoot them out of the sky. I just wanted to find uh, mm, that high setup. Set up a Vox can uh, caster here and send the transmission. All right. Uh, Abelard, in his typical form, says that is why all members of a void ship uh, clan share the same employment, no matter how devoted a servant of the Emperor is to their duty. There's always a danger that the family ties might disrupt her regulations and order. I see. I'm looking for an interrogator of the Inquisition who may have arrived on this planet. Have you seen him? I have, but I don't know where he is now. I'm sorry. I don't like discussing the affairs of uh, the Inquisition. And then we ask for Winterscale, the esteem and honorable scion. Master of the Ryok system, at the behest of his um, illustrious father or grandfather or uncle, well, his illustrious relative, Lord Ivane, uh, took up the residence on a Ricard Menores. I have no more questions. I must take my leave. All right. Good. Let's we know what's going on. We can't really heal, which is a shame. But I can tell you what we can do. We can take... We can My take a few... Transcend. My whispers crave entertainment. A few cover positions here. Oh, they got a big gun. I like it. Look no further. They fear to look at me because of my appearance. Fate beckons me. Embrace no, 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 true don't power. move in, Saiken. I thought that we could maybe shoot. I reject the very idea. The world trembles No line of sight with the target. Interesting. Maybe this would work. Purpose guides me. Fantastic. Doesn't he start a combat? Unexplored. I will. Triumph. Well, the moment that the bullet pierced the minimum men rebel, things are going not as uh, as great as they could.
All right, I think we can start the battle from here. Wow, lots of rebels, and many of them are high hit point targets. Your efforts amuse me. Good, we got power swing. All creatures within. Okay, so that's an AoE swing. I like it. Shove. Uh, that's not bad either. So we're still sticking in full cover. We could do something stupid like that, but mm -mm. not happening. It will be done. Or instead, getting deflection. Should have maybe saved that for a little bit later. Indeed. But this also gives me. A bonus, I don't remember what it is, but it gave me a bonus until the end of uh, the fight. Can you ready somehow? Can you ready? Nah, I think the game would have given us the chance to ready. For starters, we're pushing the luck a little bit further. Faith then, concentrated fire worthless. into that hitting as many the of them as possible. Not great. That is not the Emperor's will. 50 50, maybe we can get a kill. Okay, fantastic. Need one more for her to get uh, Revel and Slaughter. Go. Very good. Let's go, baby. Let's get to it. What's that? A gas grenade? Not cool. All right, Kasia. If I'm leaving cover, things are not going to look great. So I'm just going to play her as a support character. A fire grenade isn't bad either, but no. Revelant light, willpower, and toughness. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Very nice. Very nice. Good, then we want to give him all of the characteristic upgrades. Nice. Well done, Abelard. And I am a navigator, let's just, not a servitor. Let's just get a sniper shot. Here we go. Beckons. 17 points of damage aren't too bad. I think it's okay. Nice. That's not bad either. Alright. Um, just out of curiosity. Uh, the no new four boarding would be only until next turn. Uh, six dodge. Yeah, that's okay, but not too great. I think what is going to be perfect is. No can do. That is not my destiny. Moving into half cover. Cover me. And from here.
we're going to shoot at all what of you. Of course. I've suffered worse. What's happening? There's just a real nasty. Okay, this this thing runs up Vale quite a lot. We got to be careful here. Uh, what? Give Abelard. Was that you? Or... Better defenses with forewarning. We're now at ten. <laughs> well, got to be careful. Not too much Vale. Look at all of that. The Vale here seems to be very thin. Time to slaughter someone. Scared yet? Let's get to it. All right, Saiken. What are you going to do? Can't hit any of these guys. But we can hit over here, and we're going to do exactly that. Nice one. Guidance. I will triumph. So tribute. Damn it! Saiken is killing. I like what I'm seeing. I will not stoop to this. This. Is beneath me. All right, can't reload. I think we're good. We're good. Here You're very go. good. Out of my way. Moving up. At your back and call. <laughs> We're hitting. Lovely. Someone else can do this. It all right, all of done. you attack a lord. I and will do my duty. A lord protects himself. Very nice. Well done. Argentia moves to half cover. I don't like sitting behind crates. As the Emperor commands, I act. Yeah, we. I'll do it. Let's just reload. We need to get into that cover. Hold on. It's almost too good to not take it. Fields are always drowned in scarlet. Look at that. So good. Uh, this here, hmm. Give a, an action over, but she still couldn't move. That's the problem. I'd rather Me? give her bonus if stats. You insist, Lord Captain. And our other psyker is buffed as well. They who discern the future on the battlefield. Will do. 
AoE damage. What an unfortunate turn up nice. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of Veil Degradation. I don't know why it jumped from like 7 to 14. What's the problem with you, madam? Not going to go beyond 15. That is scary. Although I haven't figured out yet what exactly is going to happen. It can't be anything, anything that is good. Alright, end of turn. Let's make it quick. Just a minor setback. Ruin beckons. What a satisfying demise. Saiken kills. Then revels in slaughter. Regains an action. I reject the very idea. Oh yeah. Good damage. Listen, time for a heroic deed. I think heart. that's what we want to see now. Another kill. Saiken is just waste my time on that. This on is absolute ballistic. Me. No, that's good. I mean, two extra shots. Uh, how about we're shoving? It will you. be done. Oh, he parries. Interesting. At your beck and call. It will be done. And again, let's get every one of them towards us. I will not. Good. This battlefield just in getting fury. into proper cover. This is unacceptable. Faith without deeds is worthless. Nice, great kill. New Doubt action. The weak. That is not Revel and slaughter. <laughs> I refuse. We're doing very well the here. Commands, I act. Ah! It's almost like a sharp contrast to that last battle that we had. Moving up. I'm not accustomed to duty demands. Wow, the littlest stair is it's crazy. Also removes so much cover. Um what are we going to do? You know what? Is this a job for the serfs? Get a little bit closer. Done. We're done. What is this foreboding? Nah, Iridia will not use her psychic abilities here. No, 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 no. At your back and call. One fewer task. Okay, that was a relatively good fight.
So, armored body glove is not what we need. Flag chest plate also not. We have already carapace chest plates, so they might go over here as well. A couple of knives, very primitive, but okay. Uh, but we get skirmisher boots. Whenever the wearer deals damage to an enemy, the wearer has a 25% chance to gain two magic points? Movement points. Okay, got you. Which means I think you should be getting those because then you're faster and we need you to be really really fast. I wish he could wear a shield but we haven't found a single shield so far. By the way since the last game that I played before this game was Warhammer 40k uh, Chaos Gate this is such an absolute different experience and oh finally Medikai kit. Oh please. Thank you. So, there you go. One. And two. And the front line gets another one. Hmm. Provides an additional opportunity to call out a machine spirit. I think that's melt the charge. Hmm, no. What is this here? Large med kit. Cool. We finally got our med kits that we were looking for. One thing that we don't have is anything else. No grenades, nothing. Over there! We should deal with this. Join me in prayer. All right, disarming trap. This task should have been accomplished easily. Not cool. Duty prevails. We've now yet another I crippled leg. The Emperor favors me today. Wow. Are you kidding me? Change is oh no, coming. That, that's the edge is nigh. The blinded ones are harmless. No sense in shooting them and drawing attention. Ah! Fire on the nearest target! Don't kill the tech priest! We need to take him alive! Oh yeah. He awoke the machine spirit. You fools. May knowledge be thy fate. Let the cycle be discontinued. Ooh, can we recruit him? I would love to have a tech priest. Pascal. A man dressed in a crimson should not have survived an explosion like that. However, he's alive. You hear a wheezing uh, respirator that uh, covers half of his face. Not another step. Flee, for I am death. By the throne! What is that servant of the Omnis Hire made of? Adamantine? Ugh, blast it! All right, I'm Rogue Trader Saiken. I mean you no ill. I identify you as a member of a high stratum belonging to Rogue Trader House von Valencius. I am detecting no need for confrontation. The convoy received an order to meet you. It is no longer functional. Therefore, I propose that we continue to advance to the rendezvous point with the governor's soldiers. Who are you? Identify as Magus Pascal Hanema of the priesthood of Mars. By the grace of the Omnissiah, I am currently assigned to the maintenance personnel of the station Altar Templum Calixus X17. 
Altar Templum Calixis. I have heard the name before. The station appears on House Orcelio's star charts in the Furibunda system, not far from the Void Colony of Footfall. You have traveled a long way to come here, esteemed Magos. Why do you wish to seek the governor? I came here to carry out a sacred mission. My mentor, Archmagus Amonat, summoned me, and I hastened to answer his call. But the rabble's unrest prevented our meeting, and I was on my way to Governor Medina to determine my mentor's current location. My escort was ordered by their commander to discontinue their movement and await to be merged with your group. Then, due to their incompetence, they let themselves be killed. It was an unacceptable complication to my task. All right, I invite you to enjoy it. Nice. Predicting successful and mutually beneficial cooperation. Nice, we got a tech priest. Oh yeah, baby. And somehow this is always shifting and changing. So the way that I'm seeing it is we got range DPS uh, times three. Medium, DPS, Frontliner, and then a Tech Priest. Let's see what the Tech Priest can do. He's an Operative by trade. Has a good weapon skill. That's a good start. Definitely has a nice little Intelligence boost here. Uh, does not have a lot of lore. That's just not his uh, forte, but he has a lot of tech use. And I know the exact correct um, stuff that he could have. Three logic seems like something he'd be interested in. There you go. Unfortunately, we don't have any other tactic. He does have Pascal. Oh no, uh, it's called Omissarian Axe, sorry. And he does have a laser gun. Oh yeah, he has that extra arm. I forgot they have multiple limbs. This guy isn't as modified as other tech priests. He is still quite human. And he does have a frag grenade. Okay, cool. So what else does he have going for him? Pretty good armor. Holy vestment. Uh, moderately good dodge and a good parry. Okay, is he a frontliner? I don't know. I mean, he has he has a great axe. Pretty massive axe to be precise. But he only has twenty four hit points. Hmm. He's wearing medium armor, so one could argue he is a frontliner. And we need another frontliner. Let's see what uh, they've got him for him. Uh, can analyze enemies. Can expose their weakness. Can immediately inflict uh, an exploit on all enemies in combat that make a free attack against the target. Okay, so that's the dismantling attack and passive learning. On the operative's first turn, randomly distributes the same number of exploits to enemies in a 10-cell radius. So he wants to be relatively close to the enemy and has great tech use. Cool. Well, um, he's definitely working with intelligence. He's also working with weapon skill, which means he is melee. Why is the weapon skill so high? The axe is plus 15. And he had advanced his weapon skill. So he is indeed a melee character. Hmm. Wondering why he, uh, they made him an operative then. What do I know? Maybe it is good. He likes logic and in and tech use. 
But apparently none of the lore and the other stuff isn't working uh, well for him. Why is it so low? Oh, tech priests get minus 30 on all of that. Well, never mind. Uh, he can never be the lore master. But he could become a good frontliner. Let's use the weapon skill. I like that. And let me find something. All right, so I read through all of his skills. I'm a bit indecisive with Pascal. He seems to be capable of going both melee and ranged. And the one thing that stands out to him is he starts with plasma and, and melter weapons. We don't have anyone who can do that at the moment. Most of his skills with the machine spirits and so on are on range, but he has a couple of uh, more melee-esque uh, skills. It seems like a hybrid build isn't really feasible. He starts with a relatively high melee weapon, but the ballistic skill can easily get up as well when you're taking aiming protocols, uh, because all of a sudden you shoot really, really well. So what I did is I took uh, ballistic skill, but I think we're just going for intelligence because with um, aiming protocol uh, that's de facto also um, aim and we're just building him with ballistic skill and intelligence it's a bit weird because all of a sudden we do have someone else who can do a lot of the in skills very well um, but I think that's not a bad uh, bad thing per se so as the next um, item Let's see what else I want. I think next up we're going with overcharged protocols. Uh, every time he uses a plasma melter weapon, damage with these weapons stacks. We don't have one yet, but I am anticipating you can find some and it'll be great then. In the meantime, more intelligence. Oh, this guy has a monster intelligence, unbelievable. All right, what else do we want? Good, I think we're going for joint analysis. Until the operatives next turn, their allies' attacks also remove exploits. Now we just need both of our operatives to stack exploits and they deal plus int uh, bonus more damage. And currently we, I think, have de facto plus five more damage, which isn't bad. And as a skill, I like tech use. That's pretty damn good. All right, so all of a sudden we are at 55 ballistic skill, 55 intelligence, which is good. 90 tech use. Well, he's a tech priest, so so I can don't act that surprised. Uh, we definitely do have a great tech use character, and we have a couple of operative skills, which isn't too bad. He has a special skill called machine ba banishment, which is great. I like that. And the problem is one creature gets three exploits that's a f we need some more stuff that we can do in order to just dish out more exploits because the exploits seem to be really really good um fair enough i would put him still towards more of the front line what advice do you seek so this is a completely messed up formation I think this is a great formation can we somehow save that light of terror guide our way embrace true power Cast your eye there. All right, got some goods over here. Nice little bolter. And 
some more med kits. Finally, we're finding med kits. What the hell is even going on? Apparently, though, um, we can yet not use it on the tech priest. Oh, come on, really? And then finally the bolter that we have found. How good is that? Better than unfading uh, Valor. Two-handed weapon. And it has a lower rate of fire. But it seems quite good. Okay, that bolter looks exactly like the other one. Let's hope it deals substantially more damage. The world trembles beneath my feet. Cool, what else? Gas cloud grenade. You know who is kind of destined to throw a lot of grenades? Exactly, the tech priest. I feel like he is in a good spot to do that. And given that no one, uh, that we have nothing else that the others I can do, might as well give them a grenade each. This unit can be rectified. Let me guess. It involves the drill on your mechadendrite? There's no need, really. My burden suddenly doesn't seem so heavy. Sometimes you consult the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperialis and weigh every step. Sometimes, though, you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. Pyromancy. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. that uh, looks like a great staff. The sooner we start. What's that staff all about? Pyromancia staff. Um, hmm, the wheel of the staff. Against the inferno ability. That's a good staff. So we just need to be a N10 willpower. Hmm. And it does have Infernal and a normal Infernal, which isn't too bad. I think we well, should be considering Dear Saiken to get Pyromancy. Intriguing. All right, let's pick this lock with Operation. our tech priest. Successful. Nice. What else do we have? Light flag armor, base armor plus ten percent property chance against melee attacks and more agility. The higher agility will automatically lead to more dodge raid, right? Right. Cool. It's not that she's really parrying a whole lot, but I like her to be as dodgy as possible. Powers unseen uncover my path. Interesting. So, where else do we need to go? I think we're we've almost made it out of here. Let's seize the opportunity. We've almost made it out of here. Uh, 
I like how you can find loot everywhere. Uh, sin skin. Armor property plus 5% dodge if the Vera has more than 40 agility. I like that. Who does have more than 40 agility? Uh, fabulous. You. Wait, wait, wait. You already had a good armor. 20%. Well, this one is better. Good. Embrace true power. We're seeing that equipment now comes with uh, certain minimum requirements. Are you sure the machine spirit will listen to you? I bet they're real stubborn. Quit whining, I've seen the tech priest do it twice. I once even brought uh, a sensor to him. Of course, they will list. Alert profane violation of the algorithm. Tread a path unexplored. Data meditation is terminated. The machine god grants me insight. Oh, yeah. Your existence is naught but ashes. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I should have really thought about that beforehand. Abelard moves to here. So close to being in full cover. Let's position ourselves here that will allow us to move over at least. Turrets unfortunately do not provide us with cover. All right, let's start the battle. Okay, maybe it's not even a battle. It seems like this thing is over before anything starts. Holy moly. Revel in light. Uh, Iridia, you can use it. There you go. Then we want extra stats. You'll get that. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Abelard. Indeed. Begins to move a little bit forward. Let's get to it. All right, what can we do? Uh, machine spirit communication. All weapons in a huge area gain additional effect. Allies' weapon recoil reduced by half. Okay, then Machine Spirit Banishment. We don't have any machines that we're fighting uh, against. Shots are ass at the moment, but I think we're going to get better over time. Good, and we now have joined Analysis, so he's a little bit of a buffer.
On it. Be wow. This alone is seven. It's unbelievable. Something is wrong. Let's just take shots here. Faith without deeds is worthless. Doubt is for the weak. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Well, she killed one, although not the one that she wanted. Nice job, Saiken. Good job. I need no guidance. Ruin beckons. Oh, <laughs> snipers are so good. I think I should get a second one. Victory is imminent. I will do my duty. It will be done. Okay, well, with the turrets, uh, that wasn't even a fight. That was a massacre. That wasn't even a fight. That was a massacre. Uh, we got some more loot over here, but I think we're okay. The world trembles beneath my feet. Listen, this is a perfect time uh, to say goodbye for this episode because we're now in the upper way. And I think we've done very well. Uh, a lot of things happened. We got the starport back and we got a tech priest. Yay! We got a sister of battle and a tech priest. Like, how cool is that, please? That's a typical... Uh, TTRPG group if there ever had been one alright we're going to continue right here uh, the next time and uh, until then until then I wish you all the best have a good one and take care bye bye